threw for over 3,000 yards. Don Strzok, the only other quarterback at Virginia Tech to throw for more than 3,000 in a season. He comes out slinging and slinging it deep, and it is nearly intercepted. Well covered by Rod from a year ago. They're the top two receivers in school history. They think they have explosive playmakers out wide, and they throw it again to Davis. Catches this one and has a first down. For the it is the latest big thing at tailback for Virginia Tech. They've had some terrific players at that position in recent years. Thomas kept it after the fake out of the pistol. And he runs. Shotgun. Al Gross said he expected to see a lot of shotgun tonight, perhaps as many as 80% of the snaps were taken. He was a terrific defensive back here in the late 60s. Franks lost 35 pounds since the end of last year. Thomas decided to keep it. And he is. Line of scrimmage, the 44. Two minutes into the ball game. Thomas dumps it off to the red shirt freshman Holmes. He's in trouble. Managed to pick up a couple. To the phone booth. A lot thrown onto the shoulders of the second year starter, Logan Thomas. Second possession. He keeps it. And Georgia Tech takes with its own medicine. Came the quarterback's coach. Calls the plays. Gain of four. Second and six. And Thomas keeps it again. And as the first down, punish. Thomas zings one. Diving catch made by Dyer. They're concerned about the double move. And these receivers have double moves in them. Eight yard gain, second and two. Holmes stacked up for no gain. Wrinkle, Virginia Tech's going to incorporate this year the up tempo. Trying to catch him off guard on third down and two. Thomas straight ahead for the first down. Put a fullback in the game, Joey Phillips in front of Michael Holmes. Holmes in trouble again behind the line of scrimmage. And Thomas has been a standing player on this yellow jacket defense. Second and 11. Deflected pass and off the hands of Dyrell Roberts. Lynchburg, Virginia area had many Division I basketball scholarship offers. Here is a tight end and converted to quarterback. It seems to be a very good move. And the opening quarter now. Holmes lunges forward inside the tree. Those three losses Clint talked about are all big. All three of them, Young, Drummond, and Holton, would have been starters. And now you see some holes opening up in that defense as Holmes rambles down to the side. have enough jump in him to get off the block and make a play. They come quickly again to the line. A fade on first and goal after the 11-yard gain. And it's played pass defense down here this close to the end zone. You're playing matchup zone or man. The rule is when you play matchup zone or man, you have to take the man. You cannot get nosy with your eyes. Right there. Golden gets nosy with his eyes. 7-0 Virginia Tech after a 24-yard punt. They have the ball at their own 30. And Logan Thomas. January and took part in spring practice graduated high school early flag down they faked it to Coleman again and the catch made by DJ they lost Jared Boykin and Danny Cole who combined for 349 career catches both were in NFL camps JC Coleman straight ahead to the still have first in that first shot in the game hopefully he didn't re-injure his knee Second and 12. All day to throw for Logan Thomas. And then he threw. Under a half minute to go. First quarter. Third and 12. The Yellow Jackets rush five. They don't get there. And the pass incomplete. Intended for the tight end Ryan. And they paid the price. Logan Thomas will go out of the shotgun. The pistol look there. And he's under duress. Can they wrestle the big guy to the ground? Yes, they can. And it'll be a loss. Led to a flagrant personal foul, and he almost got one here again. He's getting a little violent, but he never quits on the play. Look at him watching. He's trying to get him down, get him down. It's a big man. Yeah, he's going to be careful. Nation now with Michael Holmes, the tailback behind Joey Phillips. The pass caught. Nice catch. Arms extended over his head. Davis, 4-3-7 in the 40. School record 44 inch vertical 
at 6'4", 232. Michael Stretch. Georgia Tech started 6-0 last year for the first time since 1966, but won only two of their last seven. Running room there for the Reds. The NFL, and they just keep plugging in another talented guy. Ryan Steinsman said Holmes reminds him of Evans. Logan Thomas said he reminds me of Ryan Williams. A reception from their top four wide receivers on their depth chart. So an experience on both offenses. Good fake by Logan Thomas. And a good tackle in the flat. Ryan Malik. Off that Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick coaching trees have a long association with Nick Saban as well. Thomas was about to get wrestled down, tossed it to Holmes, who picked up yardage. Frank Beamer says this is a big game, particularly because it's an ACC game against the team they've battled for the Coastal Division title the last seven years. Logan Thomas with good field position on target, first down to the 31-yard line. From down the field, settled into a rhythm, planted his foot, and made a great throw. He's 9 out of 15 passing. He hands it off to Michael Cole. Pass, he's done. Uh, what a disappointment for him and for the Hokies. Thomas flings it forward, juggled and caught. No, dropped finally by Holmes. Seasons. They've done it 11 out of the last 13. They played for a national championship, but they haven't won it. Thomas on third and 13. Is that caught? No. Incomplete with his new group of receivers. Martin Scales is the new running back, converted fullback, quick pass to Marcus Davis, taken down immediately. Dropped off a little bit at the end of last year with an undermanned group trying to get away with playing only about 14 players tonight. They've had a very good half. Thomas deep, flag down, incomplete pass. That is just double coverage from Jamia Thomas and Isaiah Johnson. Nice job by Thomas of keeping position. You see the foot, left heel come down outside. Excellent first half. Obviously one of the problems is by the time they get it, it's a revolving door with players leaving after four years. They're getting out of the CFL. He was with the Calgary Stampeders last year. And Logan Tom turned to college football as head coach of his alma mater, Virginia. Said we have some wrinkles that they haven't seen from us before. And this defense has given Virginia Tech. Third down at eight. Let's see how the Hokies play it. I would think he might run this out of the end zone. No, he's going to throw it. And very well for the first down. Well, they won't have to. After a 16-yard completion and a third down conversion. Georgia Tech better not go to sleep here. Low throw in the direction of Marcus Davis. Defensive battle, just 138 yards for Virginia Tech. 107 for Georgia Tech. Now they'll take a knee. In your hands, defending the cut block, not getting one for one. Surprised he went for it. I don't need to say that now, but it's been a defensive battle. <laughs> Holmes carried on first down for the Hokies and got four. I think I hit them all, too. You did. In record time. Swung out to Marcus Davis, who dropped it. Forward coverage. Marcus Davis, excuse me, he's down here in press coverage. And back to him after the drop. Here comes the blitz. Logan Thomas got it off, incomplete, intended for Dyrell Roberts. Every day competed and did it the right way. And he has certainly done all of that. He's on his way to the College Football Hall of Fame someday. With or without that national championship trophy, Michael Holmes carries. Hokey offense coming in. Andrew Miller, the center, the only returning starter. And look out! Logan Thomas buried by... Well, actually, it's a great call by Al Grover running a zone blitz, anticipating the pass. They're running him outside, you have Painter jumping outside. The rule is as an offensive tackle, 71 Painter jumped outside. You go from... And Watts had a straight line into the start making play. Loss of nine. Soft rush this time, no rush. Logan Thomas going deep and incomplete. Attended again for live on watch ESPN. Logan Thomas out of the pistol. Way too high for Dyrell Roberts. He got knocked out. Difficult situation. Yeah, didn't hit him in the head. 
I agree. And Virginia Tech would use the help. Bring them up. They mentioned Georgia Tech playing with underman defense. Three guys who would have been starters aren't here. They're trying to get by with about 14 different players. Just the running back to the right of Thomas. They rush five. He throws a quick pop and a first down. Corey Fuller. Long time. 12 yard gain, three catches for Fuller. Another Fuller apparently on his way to Virginia Tech with a brother in high school is one of the top players in the country. Seems to have helped put some life into the step now of the Hokies offense. Play fake and a high throw over the head of the tight end, Eric Martin. Some big interceptions for them late in games last year. Third down and two, big play from the 38. Coleman, the freshman, bounces outside, first down. True freshman who enrolled in January is J.C. Coleman. Brian Steinspring said he's as mature a player as they've ever had as a freshman. Good reaction by the deep for no gain at the 25. They go quickly again. Thomas lost one. Nice catch by the fullback. Joey pressed coverage right up top. Third down and seven. Five out of 13 on third down. The Hokies and the pass incomplete. They want to flag again on Sweden. They won't. Been on for only 105 and rushed for 37 on 11 carries. So 171 yards of offense for the Hokies tonight. J.C. Coleman up the middle. The hard earned. Given that they're all tonight. 8.20 to go. And breaking free is Davis. They missed the tackle. And he can fly. Lost the football. And the Hokies recover. The slam. Let's see what they do. They spread him out. They run the slant. He's off the tackle. Yep. Well, Al Groh talked last night about those short passes. You need to close quickly and make those tackles and sweeting with. And you wonder if fatigue is setting in for these defensive players who played just about the entire game. Subs. Michael Holmes in at tailback behind Joey Phillips. Not in field goal range yet. Thomas wants the lead, has a man open! Caught with a flag down, touchdown! Dimitri knows the freshman! Touchdown pass to put them ahead. Never underestimate fresh legs. Starts with good protection. Dimitri Knowles coming off the bench. Sweeting, perhaps a little bit tired. Is Lazy getting out of his break? Surprised a little bit by the fresh legs of Knowles. Just gets run by, poor technique. Logan Thomas on target when it counts. Three wide receivers as he goes out of the gun. Four-man rush from Georgia Tech and a receiver wide open. Corey Fuller's had a big night. Logan Thomas pulls it down, goes out of bounds. Caught by the tight end, hit immediately. They field goal. Which he was given a second chance by Frank Beamer to come back into the program after his legal problems. Will he get a second chance tonight? Not if he plays it a little bit safe. Because even if it's a short game, they still aren't in field goal range. Yeah, they tackle him there, but Fuller breaks free. And he's down inside the 25. Now. Even if Washington had taken the sack near the 20, they still could have tried a 37-yard field goal to take the lead. But he threw it away, and now here's Holmes up the middle. On sound, but you got to start playing to play a little bit. Hand off again. Holmes through the defense. Holmes inside the five and down at the one. A debut, but he's rushed for all 24 yards here. Now Thomas down on a knee. You wonder if he struggled to get the cut to center. Thomas first has to make sure he gets the snap. He does. And he's not in. It could be huge in deciding which team wins this division. Thomas one more time. Stopped again. What a valiant performance by this